His obsession seems to be how quickly can we get out? How can I limit the U.S. involvement uh, in all of this? The, the one thing, if, uh, you know, Ambassador, if we're going to use military force, it seems to me, and, and his stated goal repeatedly is that we've got to remove Gaddafi. Isn't the one thing that's missing from this equation is victory? Seems to me that, uh, and I think Britt Hume made a similar point, failure seems to be an option in this case. Well, you know, the president's too smart and too sophisticated and too nuanced to believe in victory. He believes in something else. Look, he and his people have been told for years that American leadership irritates the rest of the world. And therefore, he's trying to hide the reality of this operation, which was we have led it from the beginning and we have delivered most of the military muscle. The result of his unwillingness to assert American leadership is exactly the disarray you now see in NATO uh, and even among the potential Arab partners for the coalition. So I think this is proof positive that the whole line of analysis that says American leadership somehow irritates the world uh, just needs to be discarded and sooner rather than later. Isn't, isn't that the, the point? I think you've really hit the nail on the head here is that he doesn't believe that America's role uh, ought to be the leadership role, but maybe somehow we don't have the moral authority to be leading. Um, and, and, you know, how else do you explain him telegraphing that we're not going to send boots on the ground, that we really have no intention of enforcing our threat that Gaddafi is going to be removed? Well, that, that was a big mistake, whatever our ultimate intention in terms of ground forces. But I do think there's a, there's a lingering problem here that could get worse, and that is his willingness to allow Americans to be put under foreign command. Really, not since World War I, uh, America's first entry onto the European stage, have we been under the ultimate command uh, of foreigners. We've had interwoven commands and in other battles. But he has very casually said foreigners are going to command this in the next few days. I think that's something something Congress ought to debate. I don't think there's a constitutional issue here, but I think there's a real issue of national security in putting our young men and women under foreign command. Would you advise against it? In other words, I, I personally Absolutely. think 